Hey, what's up, Dodger game viewers? Um, earlier I said I would uh, come back to this uh, page. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read it for uh, you folks that would rather kick back and let me do the reading on my <clears throat> cult mind control in the kingdoms of Satan, Yahweh, and Mormonism page on Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics. Uh, obviously, I won't go through the videos. As far, you'll have to spark those up yourself. But here we go. The very term mind control not only covers a vast array of methods, applications, and strategies, but in and of itself has become a loaded term used in subtle campaigns of mass mind control so as to mislead the public in various ways as to the reality and extent and certainly some of the most diabolical, diabolical and inclusive uses for the exercise of such undue influence in society on a worldwide basis. Between the conditioning and programming we receive through television, featuring Disney and various Hollywood productions, to the ubiquitously scripted news programming we receive in various other media, our perception and comprehension of the extent of the use of mind control is, along with purposes, methods, and venues, being very effectively limited through deliberate deception. In a world where we are being subjected to ever increasingly advanced techniques and technology to administer forms of persuasion through undue influence, it will be useful to, the inform, to be informed enough to recognize the use and intent of mind control being practiced in situations ranging from one-on-one -on -one to various cults, cults and other high control organizations. And that, is, and that used in mass media. But to comprehend the extent of the use of mind control in modern society, we won't stop there. Instead, we'll be moving to levels exceeding what most individuals who have thus been effectively programmed in Western society are ready to accept at first sight. I will mention what is inaccurately called the education system, built to satisfy the need for the type of labor units men like J.P. Morgan and J.D. Rockefeller hungry, hunger for when Rockefeller said, I don't want a nation of thinkers, I want a nation of workers. Kind of reminds me of uh, <clears throat> the, the obedience being the first law of heaven that's stated by Joseph Smith. So we ask, is there an entire class of people who do not want us to be equipped to clearly reason for ourselves and instead desire people who obey and labor unquestioningly for the elite? Why is mind control used in so many venues? And is there an interconnective thread between media, schools, churches, government, and the military industrial complex related to our entire perception of civilization? Although the media in general does a great deal to obfuscate the reality of its own use of mass mind control techniques, the Disney Empire has been very effective at causing many to think that certain elements of reality in their practice are only make-believe, such as the nature of black magic, satanic ritual re religious practices, or the use of trauma-based mind control used in <clears throat> elite occult bloodlines, as well as in the privately owned CIA in MK Ultra mind control projects such as Monarch, etc., and that notions of such things are just imaginary fairy tales spun by unhinged right wing conspiracy nuts. Or is the use of this intentionally loaded term in and of itself subtle mind control 101 in action? Multiple media venues like to use loaded terms such as conspiracy theory, a term created and loaded for its effect in creating doubt and in dis discrediting individuals who disseminate information <clears throat> detrimental to those who are exercising undue influence in society. With this in mind, the natural follow-up question becomes, for what purpose is mind control being used in these various large-scale operations and who is behind it? That question is more thoroughly addressed in my Secret Combinations webpage, and so I've got the <clears throat> hyperlink there to that particular page on the website. More than two videos, gospel topics. Up. As for the subject of mind control in this page, I present the videos 
I have heretofore produced or gathered from others on the subjects related to mind control, especially as they relate to the truth and authority claims of the LDS Church. To most active Latter-day Saints, or Mormons, sustaining retired surgeon and acting prophet and president of the Corporation of the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Russell M. Nelson, the thought that the saints are under the influence of mind control practiced upon them by church leaders sounds like utter nonsense. I mean, that's the kind of thing that happens to drug-crazed hippies following Charlie Manson, Jim Jones and the Kool-Aid Gang, or David Koresh, the leader of the Branch Davidians, whom the <clears throat> BATF mass executed at Waco, Texas. And how about the Moonies? Or worse yet, the Heaven's Gate cult, who tried to reach a passing starship by committing suicide. But for a heck sake, not us mainstream model citizen Mormons. Oops, I meant to say Latter-day Saints, but... When was the last time you active and faithful folk asked yourselves why so many aspects of Mormonism are so much in line with the basic guidelines for creating undue influence in a high control organization using cult style behavioral control model complete <clears throat> with messiah complex hierarchy doctrine and practices? <clears throat> for starters, let's say that much has been written concerning the bite model for using behavioral, informational, thought, and emotional controls within high control organizations such as those named above, and including but not limited to religious organizations like the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, better identified as church members called Jehovah's Witnesses or Disciples of Scientology, or the Seventh-day Adventists, and numerous other groups, including many branches of Mormonism, actively practicing polygamy. However, most LDS faithful have little or no knowledge of such details, and believe that anyone claiming that Mormons are under mind control are just overzealous born-again Christians who call all the above organizations I mentioned demonic cults, while not recognizing by the exclusively LDS-held gift of the Holy Ghost, the fact that the LDS Church is the one true church on the earth, just like those others using Messiah complex structure say about themselves. So if you are honest and brave enough to venture into the rabbit hole that will open when you begin to ask what are the motivations and objectives for using these various forms of mind control, then we should ask at least self <coughs> then we should at least self-educate a little about some of the advanced persuasion techniques including NLP and hypnotic language and musical enhancements used by the high-level sales professionals, politicians, lawyers, and religious leaders along with becoming adequately familiar with the common practices of the BITE model of mind control. And then to compare it to the conditioning of the fully active Latter-day Saint, whose repentant mindset will cause him to feel he must strive to be more obedient and submit his will to that of the brethren, who he believes are just serving as agents of our Savior. For by doing this, he or she will be worthy to hold the temple recommend and in the LDS belief system, eventually get to keep family relationships for all eternity if they can just obey well enough all the holy commandments such as the law of chastity, the word of wisdom, and especially the law of tithing, and keeping the Sabbath day holy while attending all their meetings regularly, fasting, praying, studying scriptures and lessons from Sunday school, and either priesthood <clears throat> plus seminary and scouts, and then serve an 18-month optional for girls or a two-year full-time mission obligatory if you want to be anything but a nothing burger for the boys in the church, which mission you pay for it yourself, including some of the marketing, oops, I mean teaching materials, with the money you've managed to save all your life after having tithed upon it first, of course. This is the norm for LDS young men, after having been programmed since being in a sunbeam in primary, that they must serve an honorable mission for the one true church of Jesus Christ, or no self-respecting Mormon girl is going to want to marry him. Thus, with family relationships as part of the eternal life rewards package for LDS faithful, hanging in the balance, we have the carrot and the stick in a double bind 
all hinging on absolute obedience to the cult leaders firmly implanted in the minds of believing Mormons through repetitious programming and conditioning experiences built into faithful living requirements of ch each church member in programs specifically tailored for age and gender of the LDS church members. I'll give some examples of such techniques used in LDS activities in the next section. And here I drop a video, Mormon Apologetics Incorporate. I don't know. Have to see what it says. Probably NLP and shit. Next, examples of techniques and practices reinforcing obedience to cult leaders can be as simple as having a young primary program child think, I must prepare my mind and invite the influence of the Holy Spirit by singing songs like Follow the Prophet. Don't worry, I won't sing that to you again today. That use, <laughs> that use hypnotic repetition while rhythmically inducing a more receptive state for programming and repeat the phrase, follow the prophet three times in each verse or chorus, followed by, he knows the way or don't go astray as admonition or scare tactics built in as clinchers to why the child must follow the admonition to follow the prophet as shown in this example. In older groups, different peer pressure tactics are leveraged on teens when they are insecure and socially vulnerable and told why the need to obey various behavioral control rules, <clears throat> why they need to behave various behavioral control rules such as dress and grooming standards, activities, <clears throat> for further indoctrination and conditioning, such as seminary attendance each school day and obligatory m missionary service to recruit more tithe-paying members for the corporation to profit from. In many meetings, including sacrament meeting and general area and regional or state conferences, music is used to induce the alpha brainwave state and, alleg and allegedly the saints are often subjected to enhanced audio frequencies, enhancing the experience and triggering good feelings which saints are conditioned to believe are coming from the Holy Spirit, testifying to the truth of the messages being received that day. Combinations of techniques such as peer pressure and shaming mingled with behavioral control mechanisms include private and extremely invasive and inappropriate one-on-one -on -one closed door worthiness interviews covering issues including sexual intimacy along with obedience in all aspects of LDS code which are conducted by male priesthood leaders with boys and girls men and women failing the interview means you are unworthy to attend the temple or partake of the sacrament of the Lord's Supper which are highly visible events so that means everybody knows you are unworthy dirty or a jack mormon especially in regards to covenants which start as young as age eight when children are coerced into agreeing into a lifelong obligation of paying 10 percent of all financial gains they acquire by any means to the lds church that's right they get eight-year-olds to essentially contract to pay 10 percent of gross earnings and monetary gifts for their entire lives as part of the promised obedience to leaders who say they are directed by the god who will grant eternal life to the child after they die as long as they implicitly follow the prophet including paying tithing and fast offerings and serving in any capacity they are asked to fill by church leaders plus keep the modesty standards and obey what they are told are eternal laws such as those reinforced on similar conditions in the temple as specific covenants to obey the law of chastity the law of sacrifice the law of the gospel and the law of consecration which by the way states something like i consecrate all of my time and talents and all of which the lord has or will bless me to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for the building up of the kingdom of God upon the earth and the establishment of Zion. This then is more than just tithing in the financial arena, but can include everything you own. I remember the building fund where the bishop meets with you and basically guilts you <clears throat> with the parable of the widow's might that if you save anything for any reason rather than just give it to the church you are holding back like the man and wife that peter cursed i could give more now but let's just let me say sarcastic let me just let me sarcastically defend the brethren by saying 
Our leaders don't even resemble modeling a messiah complex like those other cults, I mean faiths. Just because people influenced by subtle techniques of group mind control don't believe they are being subject to such undue influences doesn't make Mormonism, I mean Latter-day Satanism, suspect of using those techniques or the leaders being skilled in the use of NLP and hypnotic language used as persuasion tools by sales pros, right? Okay, seriously, I'm going for it now. And here's a number of videos I've done. Mormon youth subjected to mind control and seminary, LDS, JW, and Seventh-day Adventist church leaders using NLP, hypnotic language, sales techniques, etc. Uh, of course, uh, anyway, I can't see the whole titles to my videos here. Uh, here's one that Madeline did with Christy Allen. She was in my state, Christy was. Uh, she said she uh, was subjected to MK. And she's an, uh, an exceptional and very bright person. Uh, it's, uh, that one's a good listen. Madeline's channel is, oh uh, well, anyway, you just click on it, you'll see. Madeline did an interview of me uh, for her channel, which I posted on uh, the Dodge Game channel. Kathy O'Brien also was an MK uh, survivor. Talks about uh, trauma-based mind control, as does uh, Christy Allen there. So, a lot of videos on here to educate us on various levels of mind control exercise, whether it's in mass media, school, church, uh, or, uh, you know, full-on trauma-based mind control for uh, MK Ultra uh, victims. That's it. That's the Cult Mind Control page on the Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics Hub. Hope you go and explore, explore it. Give me some comments. And... Um, Friday night. Hey, what can I say? There's nothing better to do than help enlighten people. So that's what I'm doing so far. Have a safe one. And yes, the tornadoes missed me. But I won't thank God for that. Dodger out.